Happy New Year, guys, from Tom's Garage. It's going to be a banner year. Man, it's been a long, last year was a long year, man. I tell you, in with the new, in with the new, I'll tell you what I got myself. I don't know why I do this, but, well, I'll show you. <sighs> Ooh, got me some new tennis sneakers. I sure did. I don't know why I do that, but I try to make, I try to make a pair of shoes last the entire year. Don't know why I do that. I just hate breaking shoes in. I mean, look at this. Yeah. Yeah. Those lasted me exactly one year, man. I don't know why I do that. Just a little game I like to play, I guess. I don't wear them for the grocery store or nothing like that, just when I'm doing yard work or working in the shop. Whew. This year, and I hope all you guys are gonna do this too, I am raising my shop prices. Yep, 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 yep. I am absolutely gonna put a $10 oil charge on every oil change. I don't care if it holds just ounces of, uh, if it gets a big V-twin tractor in here and it's gonna hold two quarts, I'm gonna charge 20. I gotta start charging $10 a quart of oil. And uh, spark plugs are going up to $10. Air filters are going to be your right average of about $15. And let's see, let me look at my shop fees here. Yeah. And I raised my shop rate to $85 an hour from $65. Uh, this is kind of a rundown on what I charge. Riding lawnmowers, I went from $65 to $85 an hour. And then little push mowers and blowers and chainsaws and stuff. I went from 45 to $65 an hour. I raised my prices of sharpening blades from uh, 10 and 20 to 20 and 30. Head trimmers are 30 now from 20. And the diagnostic fee went from 25 to 30. And my minimum shop charge went from 25 to 30. Hey, you can thank that administration we have in office for this crazy inflation, man. You gotta, you got to charge, you know, customer. I have never had a customer complain about how much I charged them. You know, I thought I was always going to be a little bit cheaper than the com competition, which I was. I was a little cheaper, but no, I, I got I to gotta get myself in the game, man. I'm leaving too much money on the table. I got to start charging accordingly. You know, now that I'm, now that I'm full time. And... Uh, so that's my new policies for 2024. New shoes and higher rates. Yeah. Hey, let's fix something. You know, this is January 1st. You know, I'm just a really, really, really superstitious person. I believe that whatever I do on New Year's Day is what I'm going to be doing all year. So I'm going to grab up something here. Let's see, I got several things in here to work on. All that and all this. And so I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick the, I'm gonna pick the easiest thing to do. Ta, ah, pressure washer. Nice feller said this thing's been sitting in his garage and he wanted to use it and it won't crank. Well, the gas smells fresh in it, but I can guarantee you the carburetor needs to be cleaned. So let's do that. Let's let's get this thing set up, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix something on the first day of the year. All righty. Switch is on, it's got gas in it. I know it's a, it's an auto choke, no prime, just choke. And uh, let's give it a few pulls and see what she does. Nope, it ain't gonna crank. This is a Craftsman and it's got the 190cc uh, brick and Stratton engine on it. Little black plastic carburetor deal. This is my bread and butter right here, boy. Well, let's pull this air filter off and ew, pull that air filter off and give it a little squirt. Boy, that thing's got a lot of oil coming out of it. Look at that. Ew. That ain't good. That ain't good at all. I know what it is. He oiled his air filter. That's where the oil's coming from. Yeah, it's got a little bit too much oil in his filter. 
All right, got my hands greasy on the first day of the year. Burr. Burr. Cold. Let me give it a little squirt. And that will tell us if it's a fuel problem or an ignition problem. Yep, it cranks. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, let's pull this carburetor apart here. First carb cleaning of the year. Grab a couple of pans. Okay. A seven millimeter and an eight millimeter to take that housing off. Seven and an eight millimeter. You got two screws there that go right into the carburetor and you got one there that holds the housing to the frame and you ought to have, yeah, there it is. Another one right back yonder. Ooh. Get them out first. Yeah, first video of the year. I'm gonna try to do about six or eight videos every single day of this year. I'm just kidding. I gotta stop and eat and sleep sometimes. <laughs> what another screw go there it is. Right there. Okay. Get this little tank vent hose out of the way. Yeah, get that stuff out of the way there. I'm trying to step across this tripod here. Things all up in my way. Let's see, we got a little spring right there we need to remove. Grab my little needly nose. I'm taking, pull that little spring out right there. Don't lose that little spring. And just pull the carburetor off. Well, there's another spring I need to remove right there, too. This one's got that idle down technology. When you let off the wand, the engine will go back to idle. I had to bypass one just last week. It just, the carburetor was in such poor shape, it would die when it would, when you let off of it, it wouldn't. So I just bypassed it. It's easy to bypass. You just take the spring that goes to that mechanism. I'll show you. Here's the mechanism coming from the pump and it will, it will release and it would allow the governor to go back to idle. And when you pull the trigger, it would pull this in and it would rev up the engine. So what you can do is the spring that goes from this mechanism here, from the governor, you can just take the spring from the governor and hook it where it's supposed to be. Like if this motor, this motor was on a, on a push mower, you know, I just don't like that technology. It's something the pressure washer manufacturer come up with, and I don't like it. Get this spring here out of the way. Well, I need to get this fuel line off. Boy, this thing is a little bit of a pain to work on. Hmm, let me get that fuel line off and out of the way. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pull the cover off. I didn't want to do that, but I will. But I will. Just three little screws. Where's the other one at? Right there. It's a brand new year. Four Tom Dobie. Now, get that out of the way. We'll just take the whole fuel tank and everything off as one piece. Pull it off every little carburetor. Little carburetor. Yeah. Okay. Get the choke mechanism out of there. Don't bend it. And get the throttle linkage out of there. 
This one's a little harder to work on. The other one's got too much, too many mechanisms in here. Too much stuff. All right. Oh, don't lose that little spring. It's trying to escape. All right, over to the workbench. Let's see, I'll put the camera over here. Get rid of all this fuel in here. I don't trust it. Looks kind of green. And uh, it looks kind of green. Twisty, twisty. I don't know if you can see me what I'm doing or not. Let me look at this camera down a little bit. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Pull the carburetor off that fuel line. Oop. Still has fuel in it. Look at there, making a mess on the first day of the year. Which I don't mind. Let that drain. Let that drain in the bucket. Ooh, boy, don't light a match. Let's see, the other pan is right here. Still got gas coming out. Let me grab my seven millimeter. Take the bowl off. Take the bowl off. Well, my hands are so cold, I'm gonna use this carb cleaner. It's gonna just freeze my fingers. Okay, let's take a look, see what we got in the, in the bowl. I don't see nothing real obvious. Mm. But it does look like bad gas. You can see it turning green already. Let's see, I ain't even got my, I ain't even got my overhead light on. There it goes. Now I can see what I'm doing. Let's cork this out. Mm. Mm -hmm. Blow that out with some air. All right. Now what I'll do. Mm -hmm. Got them shivering. Shivering. Don't lose that little pin in there. See, that's wanting to come out. Get all that bad gas out of there. Bad little gas. And this is where the problem is going to be, is right in there somewhere. I think it may have just been bad gas. I don't believe it's got a clog or nothing in it. I believe that's what it was, just bad gas. You can see it turning green a little bit. We're gonna blow this out real good. Yeah, that's clear. It is crystal clear. Okay. Ooh, that's cold on the fingers. Goodness gracious. Stick that back in there and make sure it goes all the way down. There we go. Put the bowl back on it. When you put the bowl back on it, this little divot, this little indention right there, needs to be in line with that. You know, I've seen, you know, that's backwards and that's the way it goes right there. And make sure this bowl seats all the way down. Just like that. There we go. Well, there we go. All the way down. And if it don't line up, just take your fingers and just kind of twist it around a little bit. Just a little bit. Mmm. Ooh. You don't have to get these screws real tight because it seals around that big O-ring and it don't seal by just getting these real tight. This just more or less just holds it in place. Whew. 
Now let me tend to this gas tank right here. All right, let's blow this fuel tank out real good. Woo! Give it a little push. Make sure all that's out of there. Okay. Okay. Still got a little dribblies. Let's we'll let it sit here and dribble. Till we know it's all gone. It's hard to just turn this thing over and dump it because you've got that lip on the inside. Don't let it. I want to look down in there and make sure that screen is clear. Okay. Good enough. Put the fuel line back up. Yeah, Ma's in there cooking black eyed peas and collard and black eyed peas, I believe, are for luck, and then the collard greens or spinach or whatever you prefer is for money. And we got the collards out of our own garden. whatever else you want to have for New Year's dinner. And whatever else you want. Okay. We'll stick this thing back on now. Oh, one thing we need to do first though is pull this O-ring and that little plastic piece out of there. Yep. Make sure that goes back into the carburetor. It's got a seat just right. Get that in there. And then this will clip in there and hold that O-ring. Make sure that goes in there all the way. It ain't wanting to go in. God, my hands are so cold. There we go. She's in there good. Okay. Okay, let's see. I put this on top of that. That for now. Let's see, I'm all taken. Stick that in there. That little idle down mechanism is just all in my way. There we go. Goes there. Choke the lever. Linkage goes there. And then we'll push the carburetor back onto the intake manifold. Now, just like that. Put the fuel tank back in its little grooves. There we go. Make sure that rubber O-ring is still in there. And Let's see, now we'll put the springs back on there. Ooh, boy, it's cold. Let me go around this way and grab this little spring first. That little spring goes right there. And then it's gonna go right in that little hole right there. Oh, let's see. This little spring. Let me use my needle nose. What did I do with them? God, I'm shivering so hard it's hard to hang on to. That's got to go right in there. Oh, I missed it. There we go. That's good. Everything is proper. Now we'll put the air filter housing back on it. Let's see that goes like that. And make sure you hook this hose back up to the back of this air filter housing. That's really important, especially on like a lawnmower when it kicks up a lot of dust. He'll just, he'll just suck all that dust up in there. 
Yeah, well, I've seen it happen. Ooh, oil everywhere. Uh, since I've got my seven millimeter already still on the gun, I'll just put these two in first because they're seven millimeter. Gently, because you're going into plastic. Gentle, gentle, gentle. I'm shivering cold. I had to turn the heaters off to make this video. Loud, loud heaters. All right. Grab another rag. I got myself oily again. Get some of that oil out of there. Okay. Now we'll put the little hose back on there. Ah, just like that. Now I'll put the cover back on there. <laughs> One more screw, right? Okay. Now we'll go over here and get some petrol. Get some petrol. Anything's coming out. Yeah, it is. It's good. About half full. That's good. I broke one of my own rails a while ago. I tried to crank this thing and I hadn't even checked the oil in it yet. So let's go around here and check the earl. I'm probably going to end up doing an oil change too. I might as well because this thing hasn't been used in probably a year. Yeah, it's pretty dark. That's pretty dark oil. Good level, but it's kind of kind of dark. So we'll change the oil in it too. I'll do that later. I just wanted to get it fixed. All right, that bowl ought to be full by now. So let's give this thing a pull. You don't want to run these things no more than a few seconds without water hooked up to it. <coughs> y'all that's a good sign of things to come in 2024 <coughs> gotta run in again guys i appreciate y'all watching this crazy video man i hope y'all have a, a wonderful wonderful new year i hope i have one too love you guys and girls man y'all be good and i will see y'all on the next one love y'all